Hi there, welcome back in. All that's doing here a wee bit. There we go. Right, I have started this. I've gone all the way around. I'm on my last side here. Um, and I'll show you what I'm doing. I am just edging around the, the denim with a lace. Now you're going to think to yourself, what is she using a red thread to sew on a white lace for? Just because. Because I'm going to use red accents, flowers, butterflies, buttons, um, whatever. I'm going to try and make this one as colourful as I possibly can. And I'm going to use red accents, as I said, so I'm going to use red thread for sewing on my white lace. And it's just another stimulus. It's just another thing to get the brain working. Sorry, I'm a bit close to the camera there. And I'm just going right up to the top. Give it a wee bit of stitch. And I'll take it out and I'll show you. While I have done going round that, adding the lace to it, I've turned a tiny wee hem. See when you're using denim, a hem is no necess is no necessary. See, it's oh sorry, see that? It was just to tidy up the back bit, and it doesn't matter. Yes, I would normally double hem that and do all the rest of it, but they're in dire need of them just now. And this is, this will do it fine. So, there's the ribbon. The lace, sorry, let me cut it off at the top. And because I've used this lace to go all the way around, I will also use this lace to make flowers and things like that to go on it. Right, a wee quick word about, I'm going to talk here, I'll move this sewing machine up. A wee quick talk about embellishments and what it needs to be this is a stretchy lace as you can see right it's quite robust it will stand a good pulling it's no going to fray and it's no going to edge a lot of your hand crocheting things you need to be careful with them they're quite delicate this is synthetic and it's machine made and it really is quite robust okay things need to be think childproof this is what these things need to be. Now this trim here, you can see there's a lot of threads on it. There's a lot of bits and pieces. I wouldn't use this on it. If I was, I would use a wee tiny bit. But see how the threads, you can pull the threads. Now they would pull the threads out of that. And it would end up a mess anyway. Because as you've seen there, when I pulled that, it's tightening up the design. So it would end up a mess anyway. So don't use something like that, okay? Use something... Now this is a bit asshole that I was going to use on that and I decided not to. So I'll use this for uh, flowers or embellishments or round the pocket or something. Use a good grow grain ribbon, okay? These ribbons here, your organza, your chiffon, that sort of stuff, they fray. They all fray on ends and see if they get a wee thread, they'll just pull and pull and pull it. And they'll have all these wee loose fibres on their fingers, possibly put them in their mouth. You don't want that. Okay, I would hate to have that. You can see how that's pulling. Yes, you can seal it. Yes, you can burn it with your lighter and seal it. But eventually it will fray and it will pull. This is only my opinion, remember. In my opinion, you're better with a good grow grain ribbon. Now I'll open this one here and I'll show you. This is just opened and this is the edge of the ribbon. Yep, you can see how hard I'm pulling on that there. But you only get the wee toty bits out and it tends to stop. And I really am tugging on that. Yeah, I'm getting bits off, but I really have to tug. Really, really tug on that. And I have to say, once that's sealed with a lighter, I don't have my lighter here. Once that's sealed with your lighter or your ribbon cutter, I'll show you what I mean, I've got one. Once 
See this wee thing here? It's a bag sealer, but it's also a ribbon cutter. What you do is you put your batteries in there. There's your wee thing down there. You put your ribbon in it, you close it over, and you pull your ribbon through, and it seals it, okay? These are really good. I brought that from China. I think it was, I don't know, pound or pound fifty or something like that. It's not dear anyway. But they're good. As I say, try and no go for your organs, organsas and stuff. I know they are colourful, but they are very, they're no robust. A good grow green or a good satin ribbon would be good as well. Okay. Oh, oh, see, there I'm pulling it and all the wee bits, all the wee fibres are still attached to it. Oof. Right, what was the other thing I was going to say? Yes, you want your thing to be colourful. You want all different strands and threads and bits and pieces and things that they can pull and you can put a... This is where I was sewed it before. You can put um, buttons on, bells on, as long as you make sure that they kind of get the wee bead bit out, the wee seed. You can put them on, you can put crinkle paper on, um, plastics, all sorts of things. Anything that you can use in haberdashery, really. I've got these things here. I'm going to put these on and let me show you these. have these these ones here have pearls on them I'm going to cut those pearls off because it's just as nice without them right I'll not use that one because I don't know if you can see, let me see if I can find that in there that wee bit there there's a tiny wee bit of metal that was holding that button on that pearl on, but that's what I mean, you have to check things, don't put anything dangerous on, I mean that wee pearl would have come off and went in somebody's mouth but there, that that'll be fine, I'm going to snip that there and I'll sew a couple of them on all over different places you know, and then you can pick at that and pull at it and scratch it and foot it it and things, so things like that are going to go on um, I've got different laces I've got some tool. That's a different texture and feeling. I have this spider's mesh. Don't know if you've seen that or no, but I wouldn't use that because again, look at the fibres in it, and it's quite pulley and it comes off. So don't use that. But there's all sorts of things. All you really want is a, a good mixture of fabrics, textures, etc. Right, I'm going to go away and do this and come back and see you in a wee minute once I've done it. Or once I've done the most of it, okay? Right, okay, see you in a wee minute. Hi there, right, I'm in here with the finished article, I might add one or two wee extra bits onto it but I'll show you for the top down, I've put a ribbon with some buttons because they can foot her, right there, so they can foot her and bang together, make noise and they can pull them up and down the thread. See, that's all a footery thing. And here is crinkle, crinkle fabric. They can get their fingers in to, to fidget in here, but they won't get cut or anything because the sharp ends, they're not even sharp, but the ends of that, 
see what the plastic ends are underneath the ribbon so but they can still get fingers in here to twiddle round and round different ribbons different sizes all well sewed on these ones are hemmed and tucked in so there's no threads or anything hanging down these buttons here actually can feed through some of them as well you know there's all sorts of things for twiddling the lace down the side as you know I've done a rainbow of ribbon on the side here I'm going to cut this piece off I'll leave it a bit long for fidgeting and then I'll burn it so I've got different ribbons different feelings I've got a couple of satin different lengths burnt at the end grow grain satin and organza ribbon that's quite hard to free that one but again it's melted at the top and sewed and there's a ribbon and again these buttons slide up and down but they make a good noise when you're clacking them I have some net with some ribbon on it they can tie it or twiddle it or do what I do and just pull it through your fingers and up there I've combined them before I sewed them so again it's a different feeling different texture here's just a wee like you know it's a wee kind of make make do flower thing it's just a wee messy piece of ribbon and they can put fingers in or twiddle or you know whatever whatever they want now and there's one of these wee butterflies but you can pull the wings and antennas and you know give it a, a right good pull nothing's going to come off now remember we cut the zip off Here's the zip. Sewed the zip back on so as you can pull that up and down. Now, I've left these wee rough bits of denim, but I mean, gosh, see that was tough to pull off there. These wee bits are no pulling out. I'm no, I'm not doing anything. Here, I've put a button, threaded it through. Can you still see me? Yep. I've threaded the button through, tied it in. Now, remember if you're tying anything on, to always do a surgeon's knot. Right, and I'm going to show you, show you a surgeon knot. I need something a wee bit thinner than that. Right, let me see. Right, I'll do a normal knot. That's just your normal reef knot, right? So that would be left over, right and under as a normal reef knot. But that can be picked out. But if you do a reef knot, you're doing left over, right and under. So it's going through the middle. Then you want to go You know, I should have done it in a bigger piece. Wait to get your bigger piece. And then I still try and tie it at the end, don't I? Right. A normal knot is your left over, right and under. And that would give you a normal knot like that, okay? Surgeon's knot is only left over right and under. So it's going through the middle. So that would be your knot there. And then you take the one that's going through the middle, you just tuck it back through again. So it goes over and under twice. Okay, see that there? There's two loops in the inside of your knot and then you pull that tight and there's no way that's coming out. It doesn't matter how much they pick at it. If you pull that tight enough, that is not coming out. That's your surgeon's knot. So if you're tying anything on, make sure and use a surgeon's knot, okay? 
that one up there has is just a leftover right because that's sewed, 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 sewed. So it doesn't matter if they unpick that bit. But the one in there is a normal knot and then it's a surgeon's knot. So is that they can pull the bead off or get the car off. Okay. These beads here, these were loom beads. Remember the loom band craze? Well, that was the beads that they had for them. And I've got loads of them because my son used them. Here we go is a piece of this. I call it cowboy trim, but I don't actually know what you call it. It's just a loopy trim. I have put some pom-pom trim and a bee flower on it. Again, you can tug that, pull it, put things in their pockets. A lot of people going through dementia or Alzheimer things, they like to hide things and squirrel them away. So that's the pockets. Just some more netting. And it always pays you to go over and make sure there's no threads on anything. Which I haven't done here. So let me get that one as well. Another wee butterfly here. And at the side I've just got three lengths of ribbon with a wee ribbon over it. And again you can get your fingers underneath. And your fingers under there and pull it. And you know you can put her with that and put your fingers in and pull it and whatever else so that there is the basis of my footer mat and I can always do it so as I've got things hanging off the bottom oh and I've got another wee piece of just a different texture but I've got that right away down the bottom there in the wee bottom corner so again it was just another wee texture have a go folks, these people really need these things and that there, you hear it, you get that in the dog's toys and stuff, it's one of these that I used, It's a, I used it, it had flat peaches in it from Tesco's just last week and I'll get one, two, three, I would get six different bits out of that and it's no tough to sew, any sewing machine will go through that, it's really thin. And that's what makes that noise so there you are if you liked this video give us a wee thumbs up a like and subscribe tell your friends where we are and share the love i hope everybody stays safe and happy crafting to see you again the next time thanks bye